Hey everybody! Okay, why am I doing that? Today I'm having the worst hair day in the world, so don't look at my hair. Don't look at it. It's 82 degrees in the middle of September. Like, why? It's humid, I'm sweating. And I'm ready for the fall. But on a more serious note, today's video has been requested from me for about two years now. Today we are gonna be reacting to the tape of my parents talking to John J. Edward, or John J. Edwards, or John Edward. He's one of the most famous and notorious mediums in the world. My parents have spoken to him many times. One of the times it was on the radio and they recorded it on a tape and we are gonna be reacting to that today because he told my parents things that only my grandpa would know. It is on this tape, it is chilling, it is sweat invoking. This is what we've all been waiting for. On a real note, I'm gonna go a lot more in depth to it in the video, we're gonna listen to it. It's really, really cool. And my mom's actually, and my mom's actually, <laughs> And my mom is actually gonna be joining me when we listen to it. She knows a lot more in depth about it. She's gonna help me explain it. It's what we're doing today. Once again, today's video is gonna be sponsored by Hunt a Killer. I am not even gonna be reading the little sponsorship thing that tells me what I have to say because I love this sponsorship. You guys don't understand. Hunt a Killer is a monthly subscription box that puts you right into your own murder mystery. Each delivery or box looks like this and each one of these is considered an episode to the whole season. In each box or episode, you go through case files, documents, emails, audio files, and I promise you guys from the bottom of my heart I sit here and open these boxes with Brittany or my brother. We are blown away by the detail in these boxes. I already kind of showed you guys what's in box number one, but they told me I could go even deeper to showing you guys what's in box number two. And I, I don't even have to, but I want to because I want you guys to buy it because I'm going to give it some time for you guys to go buy your subscription and your boxes. And I'm going to be playing this on live stream with you guys. Like we can all play together on live stream. I'll probably be playing it with Brittany and my brother and my brother's friend Dylan. We're all super into it and we cannot wait to start playing, but we are waiting for you guys to go get yours. Go get it. DM me on Twitter or Instagram. Let me know you got it. Leave it in the comments down below. They were named the most innovative entertainment company of 2019 with over a thousand five star reviews. I want to open box number two and show you what's in it so you guys aren't just kind of blindly buying it. I really believe in it. I want you guys to get it so we can play together. So this is what is in box number two. You open it up. It comes with everything in this envelope, but for a quicker review, I opened it already. It has like little clues. In this case, we have a ring in this baggie, this little tin case, which I haven't opened yet because I don't want to spoil anything. But what blew me away, I already showed you guys the yearbook in the first one. What blew me away in this one, we got a disposable camera's worth of pictures. Like, legitimate pictures, guys. Like, how freaking cool. The detail, a love letter, an obituary from a newspaper article. But what I found so cool is in this folder with all these files, you can read the entire 911 call of like the murder victim. There's all emails in there, like you could go through everyone's emails and then you could go online and create like a suspect log of like everyone you think it is, clues that it's them. You can play Hunt a Killer by yourself. You could go online and play with an online community or now you can play it with me and my friends on live stream. So instead of sitting in front of the TV and watching these mindless shows for hours, get Hunt a Killer and become a detective yourself. Use my discount code Andrew TMI for 20% off your first box. Go get it now. We can play together. It's going to be so much fun, especially when it starts getting a little more chilly and fall like. It's going to be so much fun. Thank you so much, Santa Killer, for sponsoring this video, and I cannot wait to play with you guys. Now, let's get into this two year anticipated video of the tape recording of my grandpa speaking to us after he passed away. Mama TMI is back, everybody. Hello, everyone. Ugh. Come on. Okay, good. do it again. Mama TMI is back, everybody. <laughs> no, no, let, let's do it again. Mama TMI is hey. back, everybody. Mom, you hit the camera. We have the tape right here of, how do you say his name exactly? His name is John J. Edwards. So John J. Edwards, that's how you say it. Yeah. You know, it's been two years and I just... I couldn't figure it out. You you know what? Set up the situation. Set up the scenario. It is back in 1999 right now. Oh, maybe even before. It is 1998. Maybe, maybe 97. Could be 97. Could be. We don't know. It's 1998. You guys were off to school and me and dad were in the house listening to PLJ. No one knows what PLJ is. They were listening to the radio. John J. Edwards happened to be on the show that day and he was taking calls from people. Like I said before, he's one of the biggest mediums in the world. He has like, I think like a five-year waiting list. Don't quote me on that. But something like that to even talk 
talk to him. Like I said in my first video, my parents have met with him four times, one of the times being in his basement. That's how active my grandfather was, that my parents were allowed in John J. Edwards' basement, his home, so he could tell them what my grandpa wanted to say. So my husband and I were listening to the radio and John J. Edwards happened to be on the radio that day and he was taking calls from people and just giving them a little insight about people maybe who have crossed over. It's like hitting the lottery if you even get anywhere near talking to him. Because he's so notorious. Very. Anyway, the phone picked up. I was in such shock because it's always busy, busy, busy. So they pick up the phone, PLJ radio station. So basically on this radio call, this is the first time my parents have ever spoken to John Edwards. So everything is really new to them. They were skeptics. They didn't know if they believed it. And this was the very first time. Now, every single time, I believe it was four times, every single time my parents talked to him, it got more and more in depth. It was crazy stuff. Like I said in my first video, when my grandpa passed away, my mom wrote him a letter and put it in his pocket in the casket. He was buried under the ground and John Edwards read the letter to my mom. So basically she got on the radio. That's where this tape picks up. It was her and my dad on the radio with John Edwards and we're gonna listen to it and explain everything to you guys. After we listen to that, we'll tell you a few other crazy things that happened with my grandpa, with John Edwards, or just with us. Honestly, something crazy just happened two days ago. I normally wouldn't even tell you guys because I don't want people saying I'm doing it for the views or to be fake, but I'm gonna let you guys know. Take with a grain of salt, believe it if you want, but it genuinely happened and this stuff doesn't happen to me anymore. You guys know I saw saw my grandpa when I was young on the stairs. I explained that story to you guys in my first video. That video will be linked down below, FYI. I do have a little more information after we finish this tape, so stick around for that, and um, let's get started with the tape. This is like prehistoric, this thing. Don't talk about yourself like that. I don't know if we're gonna say anything while the tape is playing. If we want to, we're just gonna pause it. We both haven't listened to this in years, so we have no idea what is on this tape. Ready? I believe Angela is there two of them on the line? Oh. Angela and Joe, yeah. Okay. They've been waiting a while. They want to talk to John Edward and you are on the radio. Hi. Good morning. Hey, Angela. How you doing? Okay. How are you? Good. How can I help you? Uh, we'd like to uh, try to reach my father-in-law if possible. Right, my right. husband's dad. He's on the line, too. My father-in-law is the one that passed away and my husband is with me on the other end. Okay. Hold on a second. Okay. Um, did somebody pass in the last six months? Yes. Okay. Would that be the father-in-law? Yes. Okay. He's coming through. He's telling me to acknowledge. Did he pass right by a holiday or right by his birthday or something? Yes. Does he have the same name as your husband? Mm -hmm. So my grandpa passed in November, which is a week before my dad's birthday and a week before Thanksgiving. Did he pass right by a holiday or right by his birthday or something? Yes. So that's what that meant. And also, he has the same name as my dad. They're both named Joe. And he just knew that right off the bat. Does he have the same name as your husband? Mm-hmm. Is there also a grandson here? Yes. Okay. Different family, though? Is there, is there like a grandson, but not yours? No, it's mine. Who He's else? My, my child is his grandson. Uh, is there, I know that, but is there another grandson besides that? I have two. No, no. Besides you, th is, does he have another grandson? Oh, Can't... I know what you say. It might be little John. Is that in a different, is that like, like your sister's son or something? Yes, it's a, it's a, it's a, her boyfriend. So my sister-in-law doesn't have any children, but she was dating a guy at the time who's now her husband. My Uncle John. Who has a son. He's trying to tell her that there's another kid in the picture who's like a grandson. How weird. She treats him like a grandson. Mm. Did your father know this kid? Yes, very much. Okay, because your dad is including him also when he acknowledges the kids. Oh, uh, boy. Okay. Did your dad pass from the heart problems? No. There's somebody with him who passes. When I tell you one, two, three, I mean one, two, three. Like he's here, and then they're gone. And they pass from something that I would see as being cardiac related. I don't see them in the hospital. I just feel like they just passed. One, two, three. And that's coming through with your dad. You're Joe, and is your dad Joe too? Okay, who is Anthony? Or another A in sound besides Angela? Okay, it could be his nephew. Or his, ne his sister, Angie. It's probably Angie. She okay. He always says when you go to see him, after you listen to the tape, you're going to realize things after. Now listening to this, I guess we were so nervous on the phone. I'm trying to think of people maybe who have passed so with the A-N sound because I'm Angela. Andrew? She didn't think of her own son. Because you, he was little and I was just trying to think of adults. Now I know it was probably you. And that just kills me because I would have loved to know what he was going to say about you. Anyway, continue. Who was the lady who was missing? Well, the man. I don't know who this is. I think it's a lady. Who was missing both legs? Uh I don't know. Because there's somebody who's with him who's missing both legs. I'm seeing somebody in a in a wheelchair, and they're missing both legs. But I think this is connected to your family, Angela. My family. Oh, real <laughs> so the person who doesn't have legs that my mom couldn't think about is Adriana's grandma on her other side. So not my grandma, it's Adriana's grandma. Well, I was very close with her, and she was in a wheelchair because she had no use of her legs at all. I've never known her to walk. She's always been in a wheelchair. Again, my mom dropped the ball so much because imagine being on the radio. It's, it's very nerve-wracking. I know when I do certain things, like I just 
blackout. I'm just trying to think of things about grandpa. So I'm, I'm focusing on grandpa and not thinking of, oh, it was Mary. Not thinking that they're all having a party up there right, all together. Hello. <laughs> No, I don't That's okay. That, that, that they don't care that you don't talk here. When they see this opportunity, they take it. There's somebody coming through in a wheelchair who had... Sorry to stop it again, but isn't that so funny that he's so confident that they're like, no, we don't know who you're talking about, and he's still like, well, they don't care. He's so confident in what he's saying. They're saying, no, we don't know anyone like that, even though they do. And he's literally just telling them, well, you're wrong. Like, you're not thinking of them right now. After listening to this, and we did see him another three times after this, she came through again. And he was like, who's the woman with no legs? In my head, I'm like, he said that the last time too. So I'm like, I really can't think of who you're talking about. I really don't know. So he's like, well, she's not leaving until you acknowledge her. She's jumping up and down. With no legs? With no legs. And then I was like, Mary. And he was like, yes. Now, the next few times that my parents spoke to him, over the next few years. I talked about a lot of those times in my first video where my grandpa appeared in the Polaroid. That link is gonna be in the description down below, so make sure you go watch that, because when I tell you that's like my most loved video, because it is solid evidence of just a ghost in the picture. By the way, I took that picture. Well, I did. Go watch that video, and then also after this, I'm gonna explain a few more stories, so sit tight. It feels like it's an older aunt, great aunt, or, it's, or, or grandmother, but it's an older feel. It doesn't feel like it's right above you, which to me would be like a mother or a grandmother. It feels like it's a little yes. over, which would be like a grandmother-in-law or an aunt, but it's an older female that's there. Huh. Um, Joe, just know that your dad is okay, and he's telling me that it's important that you know this. He's also acknowledging something about the car. I don't know if you have his car, or if you're doing something with his car. Yeah. Okay, he's telling me he knows I this. <laughs> Alrighty. He just mentioned about a car. He said there's something going on with a car. He did give us his car. When he passed away, we were given his car. The brown station wagon. No. He had a, a new the car. The tan one. Yes. He had a new car and he wanted Joe and I to have it. And he knew that. He was like, what's going on with his car? And that's because it was given to us as a gift by grandma. You know, I feel like this is not something that he would have been into if he was here. But he's telling me that he wants to take the opportunity to let you know that he's around. Who just redecorated their house, like either painting the wall or they just, they're just helping paint the room. The whole, it's a barren room. It is basement. Did you guys just do this? No, it's in uh, my mother's house. But I'm saying, did they just do this? Within, yeah. After he passed? Around that time. Because he, well, he's acknowledging he being aware of this. Who's got the birthday in August? I do. Happy birthday. Thank you. Is it around the 7th or the 17th? It's, it's the 7th. What's the 7th or the 17th mean? Here's another thing that I didn't mention on there. How did you not get that? Adriana's mother, who's my sister. They know Aunt Deb. Aunt Deb was in the video where they got kidnapped and they explained the story time of them being kidnapped. Right. So he was like, well, whose birthday is August 7th or 17th? And I'm like, meanwhile, that's Aunt Deb's birthday. But he's telling me 7 or 17. 7 or 17, that's, I'm a... Did he always acknowledge this? Did you always acknowledge the 17 to him? Yes. Was he telling me 7 or 17? Yeah. Um, the way I would interpret this is that either July has a meaning, which is the seventh month, or that the 17th of a month means something. Okay, yeah. Also, his birthday is July, in the seventh July. month. Just know that he is okay. This is important. Who's John? That's uh, my sister in law's boyfriend. My Uncle John now. Are they getting married? Probably, yes. Is he married, though? Uh, no, he's divorced. But he was married? Yes. Are you sure that they're divorced? Check that out. Okay. Look that over. Yeah, definitely going to check it out. Make sure those papers are in order. <laughs> so this was the story that, that we found out through John Edwards. John was in the process of getting a divorce. So they were totally separated. He was with Liz. They were planning on getting married. But the divorce was not finalized. At this point, my Uncle John was already like my real uncle. My Uncle John was and still is like my completely real uncle, as if he's like one of my parents' siblings. We're a very close family like right. that. Right. Everything was out in the open. There was nothing sketchy going on here. The divorce technically, like legally, wasn't closed yet. His wife was already with someone and everyone was just, you know, they were like separated. Everyone knew. We just didn't know. So that was something like insane. It's just like, you guys have to understand, we're sitting here just listening like, oh yeah, that's right, that's right. How does he know? Alrighty. Thanks for calling. No, thank you. Thank you're thank welcome. You very much. Bye, Bye, guys. Thank you. So that was crazy. Um, that isn't even... Honestly, we were just talking before I started filming again. We're, like, a little disappointed because so many other crazy things happened in the experiences with John Edwards that weren't being recorded. And if you want, we'll do, like, a full in-depth story time on those. You guys have to understand. Like, we're just sitting here like, yeah, that was right. What he said is right. Yeah. But how does he know? This wasn't 2019. There's no social media. There's no records of everything. There's no Facebook... Instagram pictures of he everyone. Didn't even have our last name. Yeah, he didn't even know our last name. We they literally just called on a landline phone to the radio station, and he just names, birthdays, divorces, all laid out on the table. But yeah, that is the tape of my grandpa contacting us through John Edwards. I really want to keep this going. Like, there's so many more stories that we have. 
we could go on and on with stories from John Edwards or just throughout the years weird things that have happened. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. Let's talk about it. Go watch my first video if you haven't seen it. It's probably my most loved video and I'm not talking numbers wise, like thumbs up wise, but like I have never received so much interaction from a video before. It is where my grandpa appeared in the Polaroid. It's going to be in the description down below. Go watch it. Thank you so much to Hunter Killer for sponsoring this video. I love you guys so much. Go get your box today. Use my discount code, which is AndrewTMI. That link is going to be in the description down below as well. Go get your box so we can live stream and play together. It's going to be so much fun. There's so much more I want to say, but you know what? Cheers to another video. Cheers. Until next week, I will see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.